हेलो एवरी वन माई नेम इज मिनी सेटी टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट न्यू क्लासिकल थ्यूरी ऑफ इन्वेस्टमेंट दिस थ्यूरी इज डिवेल्प बाई डेल जोर गैनसन दिस थ्यूरी इज मॉडर्न अप्रोच टू बिजनेस इन्वेस्टमेंट अकॉर्डिंग टू दिस थ्यूरी ऑफ फार्म और इंडस्ट्री नीड टू एस्टेब्लिश सम डिजायर लेवल ऑफ कैपिटल स्टॉक अकॉर्डिंग टू दिस थ्यूरी ऑफ फार्म और इंडस्ट्री नीड टू एस्टेब्लिश सम डिजायर लेवल ऑफ कैपिटल स्टॉक वट डज मीन बाई डिजायर लेवल ऑफ कैपिटल स्टॉक डिजायर लेवल ऑफ कैपिटल स्टॉक इज अमाउंट ऑफ कैपिटल गुड्स डिजायर लेवल ऑफ कैपिटल स्टॉक इज अमाउंट ऑफ कैपिटल गुड्स दैट अलाउ फॉर्म टू अर्न इट्स लार्जेस्ट पॉसिबल प्रॉफिट डिजायर लेवल ऑफ कैपिटल स्टॉक इज अमाउंट ऑफ कैपिटल गुड्स दैट अलाउ फॉर्म टू अर्न इट्स लार्जेस्ट पॉसिबल प्रॉफिट और we can say that desire level of capital stock is amount of capital good that firm need to maximize its profit desire level of capital stock depend on two factor first is user cost of capital second one is marginal product of capital okay desire level of capital stock depend on two factors first is user cost of capital second one is marginal product of capital first of all we will talk about user cost of capital most important thing user cost of capital or rental cost of capital both are same don't be confused user cost of capital or rental cost of capital both are same what does mean by rental cost of capital rental cost of capital is the cost that incurred by a firm for use of capital rental cost of the capital is the cost that incurred by a firm for use of capital it's include real interest rate depreciation and taxes uh, rental cost of capital include real interest rate depreciation and taxes and formula of rental cost of capital is rc rental cost of capital r is real interest rate d is depreciation and t is taxes first of all we will talk about real interest rate when firm borrow fund for purchase the capital obviously firm need to pay some amount of interest rate okay and how we can calculate these real interest rate for calculating real interest rate we need to minus inflation rate from nominal interest rate okay for calculating real interested we need to minus inflation rate from nominal interest rate okay for example this r is real interest rate this i is nominal interest rate and this pi to the power is expected inflation rate in this equation this r is real interest rate this i is nominal interest rate and pi to the power e is expected rate of inflation when we minus expected rate of inflation from nominal interest rate we will get value of real interest rate so real interest rate is equal to i minus pi to the power e so we can replace this r with i minus uh, pi to the power e okay we will replace this r with i minus pi to the power e okay this is all about real interest rate now we talk about d d is depreciation when we are continue using a capital over the time period our capital is wear out means value of capital is reducing that's why we need to amount that's why we need to add depreciation in rental cost of capital capital that's why we we will add depreciation in uh, rental cost of capital okay now we talk about t t is taxes okay when we are doing investment we are getting some tax rebate okay tax rebate means when we are doing some specific investment that government are giving government are giving us some tax rebate okay this tax rebate reduce our rental cost okay that's why we minus this taxes from Uh, real rental cost this tax is called investment tax credit investment tax credit means when we are doing specific amount of investment then government provide us some tax rebate okay this tax rebate reduce our rental cost that's why we minus that's why we minus taxes from real real cost of capital okay i think we got understood r is real interest rate that is equal to i minus pi to the power e that 
that's why we replace i minus pi to the power e in place of r okay and d is depreciation and t is taxes the both equation are same either you can write this either you can write this okay and our equation is uh, rental cost of capital is equal to real interested plus depreciation minus taxes okay uh, now uh, as i earlier talk uh, desire uh, level of capital stock depend on two factor one is rental cost of capital and second one is marginal product of capital we have already discussed about rental cost of capital now i will talk about marginal product of capital marginal product of capital in short form mpk this is extra amount of output that we get from extra amount of capital marginal product of capital is extra amount of output that we get from extra unit of capital marginal product of capital basically is benefit that we are getting by applying additional unit of capital okay and one most important thing marginal product of capital is our benefit that we are getting from capital okay and uh, real rental cost is our cost that we incurred for use of capital and uh, our desire level of capital stock will establish when marginal product of capital will equal to real we uh, will equal to rental cost of capital mpk is marginal product of capital and rcc is rental cost of capital rcc basically cost of capital mpk is basically benefit of capital when our benefit will equal to cost means our marginal product of capital will equal to rental cost of capital means we have established desire level of capital stock okay desire level of capital stock is established where our marginal product of capital will equal to rental cost of capital okay now we understand this theory with the help of cobb douglas production function cobb douglas production function is y equal to a k to the power alpha and l to the power 1 minus alpha l to the power 1 minus alpha or l to the power beta both are same okay so cobb douglas production function is y equal to a k to the power alpha and l to the power 1 minus alpha but question is that why we use cobb douglas production function in this theory because we want to calculate marginal product of capital for calculating marginal product of capital we use cobb douglas production function in this theory okay from this equation we will calculate marginal product of capital and for calculating marginal product of capital we need to do derivation of k with respect to y we need to do with derivation of k with respect to y okay most important thing a is technology and l is labor in this theory we assume that technology and labor are constant that's why we will not do derivation of technology and labor because these are constant variable we will do derivation of y with respect to k only okay when we do derivation of y with respect to k this alpha k to the power alpha will come forward and this k to the power alpha will become alpha minus 1 when we do derivation with respect to k this k to the power alpha will come forward and k to the power will become alpha minus 1 and this constant variable a and l will remain as it is okay now our equation is alpha a k to the power alpha minus 1 and l to the power 1 minus alpha okay now we multiply and divide this equation with k now we multiply and divide this equation with k okay when we multiply this k to the power alpha minus 1 when we multiply this k to the power alpha minus 1 with k to the power 1 k to the power 1 when we multiply k to the power alpha minus 1 with k to the power 1 this k and this plus 1 and this minus 1 will cancel with each other and k to the power will remain alpha okay so here k to the power will remain alpha now k to the power is alpha okay and over k now our equation is alpha because we divide because uh, we divide and multiply this equation with k now our equation will become alpha a k to the power alpha and l to the power 1 minus alpha over k okay now what is this a 
k to the power alpha and l to the power 1 minus alpha what is this this is nothing this is just like a production function this is only equation of cope douglas production function as we earlier discussed y equal to a k to the power alpha and l to the power 1 minus alpha this is just value of y this is equal to y na this is just production function so we will replace this a k to the power alpha and l to the power 1 minus alpha with y we will replace this value with y okay now our equation will become alpha into y over k this is marginal product of capital alpha into y over k this one is marginal product of capital okay now we calculate marginal product of capital now please listen careful okay for maximizing their profit for firm will equate marginal product of capital with real rental cost of capital for maximizing their profit firm will equate or industry will equate a marginal product of capital with real rental cost of capital this r is user cost of capital or we can say that rental cost of capital both are same this r is rental cost of capital this p is price of output when we divide this r with p we will get a real cost of capital and firm will maximizing its profit when will when firm will equate marginal product of capital with the real rental cost of capital this alpha into y over k is marginal product of capital this r by p is real rental cost of capital when both are equal to each other means firm are getting their maximum amount of profit okay now most important thing we are talking about desire level of capital so initially from beginning we are talking about desire level of capital stock now where is desire level of capital stock in this equation now we find out desire level of capital stock from this equation and for finding desire level of capital stock from this equation we need to calculate we need to get value of k from this equation we will get to value of k now value of k is alpha p by alpha uh, alpha into p by r into y now value of k is alpha p by r uh, p by r into y from this equation we get uh, this value of k k is equal to alpha into p by r into y okay now now our this k now become our desired level of investment that's why now we represent k with k star now this k star is our desired level of capital stock and this is equal to alpha into p by r into y okay what do the, what what does this equation basically show what does this equation basically represent this r is our real core our rental cost of capital this r is our rental cost of capital this y is our output this equation shows that our desired level of investment have inverse relation with the rental cost of capital our desired level of investment have inverse relation with uh, inverse relation with rental cost of capital and our desired level of investment have a direct relation with the output our desired level of investment have a direct relation with output and inverse relation with rental cost of capital now we understand this relation and a whole concept of this theory with the help of this diagram okay now please listen carefully in this diagram on x axis we take capital stock on x axis we take capital stock on y axis we take mpk marginal product of capital and rcc rental cost of capital on x axis we take capital stock on y axis we take marginal product of capital and rental cost of capital okay now we start this black curve this black color represent marginal product of capital okay so suppose we start from this point i will name this point m we start from this point at this point this one is our marginal product of capital and this one is our this line this line is represent our rental cost this one is marginal product of capital means this is benefit from capital and this one cost that we are incurring in uh, uh, capital okay our marginal product of capital curve is above from rental cost na means our marginal product of capital is more than our rental cost 
ओके वेन अवर मार्जिन प्रोडक्ट ऑफ कैपिटल मीन अवर बेनिफिट इज मोर देन अवर कैपिटल कॉस्ट अवर बेनिफिट इज मोर देन फ्रॉम अवर कॉस्ट मीन वी विल कंटिन्यू इन्वेस्ट इन कैपिटल वी विल कंटिन्यू हायर मोर कैपिटल ओके एंड हाउ मच कैपिटल वी विल हायर वी विल कंटिन्यू हायर कैपिटल वी विल कंटिन्यू डू इन्वेस्टमेंट इन कैपिटल अंटिल Until at this point where marginal product of capital will equal to rental cost of capital. Okay, we start from this point. We will continue investing, investing. We are investing till at this point where marginal product of capital will equal to rental cost of capital. Okay, after this we will not invest because our marginal product of capital is reducing. Our our cost is increasing. Okay, if cost reduce. As I earlier discussed, desire stock of investment have an inverse relation with co rental cost of capital. When cost reduce, our investment will in will increase. When cost reduce reduce R zero to R one, our investment increase K K star zero to K one star. Okay, because both have inverse relationship with each other. Okay, now we understand relationship of desired stock of capital with output. X axis we take desired stock of capital, Y axis we take rental cost of capital and marginal product of capital. This both curve, this both blue curve basically represent our output. This Y zero amount, Y national uh, output, or we can say that expected rate of output. Okay, these are basically our expected rate because according to our expectation we are hiring our capital na that's why this y zero is basically our national output or we can say that our expected output curve okay when our output curve or when our output is y zero our capital stock is k zero when our output is y zero our capital stock is k zero when our output increase when our output increase y zero to y one our capital stock also increase k zero to k one because uh, desire level of capital stock and uh, output have direct relation If output increase, desire level of stock also increase, as we see in this diagram. This is all about new classical theory of investment. I think you got understood. Thank you so much for watching this video. Take care. Bye.